everybody, we are the Babes of Bourbon. I'm Megan Rudder. And I'm Eric Rudder. We've got the real babe here, and then I just have the baby face. <laughs> <laughs> so we are here today, as you could guess, to review some bourbons for you. Um, why did you want to start this channel to review bourbons? Oh, I just wanted to start this channel to really just document our journey of bourbon. We both started drinking bourbon about, what, a year or two ago? Well, I was two probably years. about two okay. years. You were probably a year ago. Um, and I really just wanted to document our journey, have it stored on Instagram and YouTube so we can look back at it in 10 years <laughs> and see where this journey took us. <laughs> And you started drinking whiskeys, though, about four years ago, correct? I experimented with McAllen 18, which... Fancy. I never really liked whiskey before that because it was your um, shots of JMO in a bar. And um, I decided um, in Vegas to try something a little bit nicer. And... While I realize this is amazing flavor, um, I don't love scotch anymore, but the flavor profile compared to anything else I had was amazing, and it really got me interested in the whiskey world. That's good. I hated whiskey and bourbons for quite some time um, before <laughs> we got into a relationship. Now we're married. Yay! But I had some bad experiences, as you mentioned, with JMO shots at the bars <laughs> and wound up throwing up the whole night. And since then, the whiskey and bourbon scene was not really for me until we were probably together about a year before I started drinking bourbons, or at least tried bourbons that I liked. Um, and it's been really interesting how much your palate can develop to like something and how um, you can learn how to drink something in a different way and be educated to like like a new kind of alcohol that I never thought I would. And so. as a Wisconsin boy, the other reason why, because I love my beer still, but That's bourbon true. is only about 80 to 100 calories for yeah. a shot compared to... <laughs> <laughs> to like 250 if you're going beer. for the beers. Yeah, because when we got engaged, we had about 18 months before our wedding and we were both chubbier side <laughs> chubbier than we are now so we definitely <laughs> needed to lose some weight and we couldn't just have beers every friday night like we had or have like big ass margaritas anymore <laughs> so having bourbon and finding it delicious and also having it low calorie was really important um we first started drinking bourbons we would drink it on the rocks to start and it has been really interesting how now i actually prefer drinking it neat because mm -hmm. we took a class for bourbon drinking and the instructor told us how we should drink bourbon, um, which we will show you guys. So our first bourbon is a favorite. We had to start with the classic. So this is Buffalo Trace. It's from Buffalo Trace Distillery. And a little side story of why I love Buffalo Trace Distillery is I love buffaloes. So it, that's why I started with Buffalo Trace. And one day I actually got scar. attacked by a buffalo. Can I don't know if you it? can see the scar Ooh, on the video. There's too much glare. There's a little glare. We are on an iPhone, scar. so no. not the best video quality, but... And why did the buffalo attack you? I wasn't feeding it fast enough, so it, it pushed the barbed wire into me and <laughs> left a permanent scar for the rest of my life. A little bit of a travesty, but, <laughs> yeah. but it also brought your love for buffalo. Yes. So. And then... Uh, our we, second drink of the night will be Eagle Rare, which is the same mash bill as Buffalo Trace, um, and it's aged 10 years. Um, the main differences between the two is Buffalo Trace is aged about seven to eight years, and then this is aged 10 years. Um, and then on our distillery tour, we also learned that um, where they have it age also plays a big difference in um, mm -hmm. the taste and experience of the whiskey. It does. Um, so let's get into trying it. Um, usually, what are the glasses called? The Glen... Glen Karen. There are Glen Karen glasses. They're little small ones that kind of go like this. 
Um, those are the preferred tasting glasses for bourbons. It really helps open them up. It's fun to swirl them, but we're actually going to be using these cute little, I don't know if you can see the etching, Buffalo Trace glasses. Um, cause we got this really cute tasting plate, um, for our honeymoon. We drove down to Kentucky, which I would highly recommend and went to the Buffalo mm -hmm. Trace distillery. It was a joy. Amazing there. Um, time of our life. No, they treated us super well. And we're not just saying that they gave us the extra special treatment. It really helped us like it even more than I think we already did. Mm -hmm. You forgot the, the, Woo! <laughs> <laughs> Woo! <laughs> And I know this bottle is pretty empty because we do drink this quite often. There's about six more in our basement. Um, and Buffalo Trace, it goes for $25 in Wisconsin. Depending where, yeah. Um, I think, was it 22 at the distillery? It, it was around the same price with tax. So yeah, was it was it? a little cheaper. But. 22 to 25 is like the MSRP of the bottles i would say be cautious when you're buying your bourbons because there's a huge markup sometimes so having an expensive bottle that you get from your local liquor store does not mean it is an expensive bourbon it may just mean that they didn't make a lot of it and it's really marked up so don't be afraid to try those like 25 35 dollar bourbons because you can get some really good stuff for that price um, now, Buffalo Trace, it is a little harder to find in Wisconsin. I would yeah. say not just the actual bourbon with the name Buffalo Trace, but also all the products of Buffalo Trace Distillery. Eagle Rare. Lantons. The good old Pappy Van Winkle. <laughs> <laughs> Weller. All those, all those things. It is harder to find here. So another reason that going to Buffalo Trace in Kentucky was super fun. Um, which one's which? I, I wasn't watching. think I did this. Buffalo Trace, Eagle, Eagle Rare, Rare. Okay. Buffalo Trace, Eagle Rare. So what we're going to do is we are going to sample the Buffalo Trace first. Um, we're going to say what we think it tastes like. Uh, we forgot to mention earlier, another reason we wanted to do these videos is because if you ever watch bourbon tasting videos, it's usually very like distinguished people, a lot of times men, sometimes women, but they like, they're like, oh, I can smell the allspice or the cloves or <laughs> like little notes of apricot. And if I ever try those, I'm like, I have absolutely no idea I'm not tasting any of these things. <laughs> so we wanted to just show people like you can have fun tasting bourbons, even if you have absolutely no idea what the true tasting notes will be. So we'll give you our review and then we are going to bring up the Buffalo Trace Distillery website and just kind of read through what they say you should be tasting. So let's grab this. What we were taught both on the documentary Neat, N-E-A-T, and when we took our bourbon tasting class is when you're smelling bourbon, don't take a big whiff. It almost feels like your nose hairs are being burned off if you do that. What you wanna do is kind of place the glass on your upper lip, leave your mouth open slightly, and just do like a small sniff and you can like swirl it around that really helps sometimes open up the flavors it's like wine you, you can get some oxygen in there and really open it up absolutely so, but i always smell with this one is caramel i smell caramel and butterscotch for sure they smell very similar <laughs> to me <laughs> maybe a little bit of vanilla yes maybe just a little you ready for the first taste yes It Some. tastes brown sugar. Yeah. Brown sugar. Definitely that. Yes. I would like to say I did sneak into our brown sugar cabinet the other day to see what brown <laughs> sugar really tasted like. That is one way to really learn your bourbons and That's get true. different tastes. Profile is just tasting different spices and fruits and you learn that way as you go. It makes it fun trying things that you've never tasted before. Yesterday yes. I bought a plum. <laughs> Never tasted a plum before. I was wondering Lived why you came home with a plum because he's not an adventurous eater and it was very weird. I've lived a shelter life. Yeah. <laughs> the sheltered fruit life. Now something we learned too is if you take a sip of bourbon and it doesn't taste good, you don't like it. Not that this doesn't taste good, it's delicious. But if you just, it just didn't hit you right on the first taste, you always want to take two sips of whatever bourbon you try 
because that first taste is always, it has a high alcohol content, so there's gonna be a bit of a burn. Another trick we learned is that you wanna keep your tongue at the front of your mouth when you sip bourbon. I don't know why it works. I don't know if it's the taste buds at the front of your tongue like aren't affected as much, but having that up front will sometimes help cut the, the burn away. Mm -hmm. I don't know if there's a fancy term for burn. I call it the burn factor. <laughs> it's my own thing. What do you rate this burn factor? Mm, out of five. Mm -hmm. Well, I have gotten used to it more, but I would still give this burn factor about a three. If I was on the scale of one to five, I would say for Buffalo Trace, the flavor is amazing, but the burn for me at least has never fully gone away. It's still always there. And this is a 90 proof bourbon. So, and we should mention too, alcohol. this one is the single barrel. Oh yes. We got this on a trip up North. We found a single yeah. barrel up North. But I'm sorry. I didn't mean to interrupt you. You said it's 90 proof. 90 proof. And what does that mean? alcohol. Um, in the world of bourbon, I would say that's a little lower proof, so it's not going to burn as much. Mm -hmm. And um, it should be an easy drinker and um, might not be quite as flavorful as some of the higher proofs, but you're going to have a nice and easy everyday sipper. So what's the difference between something like this and barrel proof? Barrel proof is straight from the barrel and it's going to be a normally higher proof um, where it's going to have probably more flavor, but at the same time there, until you get used to it, there might be a little more burn in there. Um, There's a lot more yeah. barrel proof. <laughs> what a lot of people do with barrel proof to get used to it is put some water in it to start mm -hmm. and um, get used to it that way. Because whiskeys and bourbons that are not barrel proof already have water yep. mixed in it. They're just cut down with water. Which to me, when I learned that, it was pretty shocking because I assumed mm -hmm. all the alcohol that I drank was straight from whatever it was sourced, like the barrel for mm -hmm. bourbons. But that's not true. They put water in it. So that's why a lot of people, they do like it over ice, especially when you're starting off because mm -hmm. it helps cut the burn. Yeah. Yes. All right. Now we're moving on to Eagle Rare. Rare. I believe this is also a 90 proof. Um, like I said earlier, the big difference is this is a 10 year bourbon, um, and it's just aged a little bit longer than the Buffalo Trace. Um, you can see it in the little bit of the color difference. This one is a little more ambery than the, the Buffalo Trace. This one was the Eagle Rare, and that one was the yes. Buffalo Trace. Yep. And then the mash bill. These are the same mash bill, correct? Yes. Which... What is a mash bill? A mash bill is the definition of how much corn, rye, and um, barley they put in. I believe it's barley. Oh, God. There definitely is barley. I just read that on the website. Okay, good. <laughs> I got nervous because it's our first video and we're doing this live on Don't edited. Don't be afraid to back check us on these guys. We're going to do our best here. <laughs> But something we learned that was really cool when we went to Buffalo Trace is, well, first, I knew Buffalo Trace, the bourbon, came from Buffalo Trace Distillery. That makes logical sense. I had no idea that they had, like, 18 different lines of bourbons. It could be more. It's at least 18. And each one has, like, several that you can get. Like, this mm -hmm. Eagle Rare um, online, they say that it is a minimum age 10 years, but there's also an Eagle Rare 17. And then there's another kind of Eagle Rare that I don't remember. Eagle Rare 17 is super hard to get. Very hard to get. Um, and then the other one's Eagle Rare Double Eagle or something like that. That's believe, what it is. Which is crazy expensive. Yes. So. <laughs> <laughs> but what they taught us is that there are basically three different mash bills. And like Eric said with the mash bills, it's just a different combination of the grains when they're distilling it. So like some are really heavy corn, some are more heavy rye, some are more heavy wheat. So that's basically mash bills um, one, two, and three. These, the Buffalo and the Eagle Rare, they're both from mash bill one. And where you get the different flavors is they put them in the same, same mash bill, don't do anything different, same whiskey barrels, 
but they store them in different places for different lengths of time. Yes. He agrees. And this one is, <laughs> there are um, corn, and then it's a little lighter rye than the mash bill too, and then it comes in with the barley. Yeah. Um, and then you have mash bill too, which is a little, it's still corn, a little higher rye content. Yeah and barley and then you have your weeded which you have the weller so in that one they remove the rye and add wheat to make it a little more softer um drinking experience and that's where you have your wellers and pappy van winkles so if you do like bourbon a lot you may be familiar with those names mashville one you'll get the buffalo the eagle rare mashville two is the blanton's right the elmer t lee yes. and um Rock Hill Farms, I believe. Do you know where um, George T. Stagg and Stagg Jr. come in? They are in Mashville 1. Mashville 1, and then Mashville 3, like you said, is the Weller and the Pappy. Yes. So those are all from the same distillery. Um, let's dive into the Eagle Rare. So we said that the first one, the burn, I would say, in Buffalo Trace is really more at the entrance of your throat. It's the back of the mouth. It does go over the tongue, but it really hits like right here. Um, now when we go to the Eagle Rare, a big difference that I noticed is the burn actually like spreads across your entire tongue. It's much more subtle. It's not as aggressive. You can really tell that this one has aged longer, mm -hmm. in my opinion. So when we're smelling and sniffing, remember we're doing that open mouth, um, resting the cup on the upper lip. This one I'm getting the caramel. A little more of that vanilla in here though too and maybe like, just a touch of oak i agree on the oak this one doesn't have as much of a strong smell i would say as buffalo trace no it's a it's a little less smelly but different yes all right ready let's taste away mm. that's smooth Really good. I get the oak there for sure on this one. On the I taste. would agree for the oak. Mm -hmm. um, it like still has the notes, I think, of the caramel and vanilla. Yes. But the caramel and the vanilla are super subtle, where the oak is much more upfront. Mm -hmm. And the burn. Where do you feel the burn? One to five. I feel the burn. <laughs> um, I would give the burn a 1.5. Because for me, even though there is that settling on the tongue, because it's not hitting me in the back of the throat, sometimes I also call the burn effect the gag effect because it just like gets you. <laughs> it's, like, <laughs> it's like when you have that bad alcohol experience and you wind up throwing up, like sometimes you get it right there and it just hits you. This Eagle Rare does not do that in any way. Um, sipping it neat is delicious. It's a really wonderful experience. Mm. I love this. Yeah. Delicious tonight. <laughs> <laughs> like every night. <laughs> so as we're sipping, I forgot to read. Let me bring up Buffalo Trace's website. Um, and I'm going to read to you. Well, I'm going to start with Eagle Rare because my Buffalo Trace page went away. So for Eagle Rare, I'm getting this from buffalotracedistillery.com. It says, Eagle Rare Bourbon Whiskey is masterfully crafted and carefully aged for no less than 10 years. Every barrel is discriminately selected to offer consistent flavor, but with seemingly individual personality. Eagle Rare is a bourbon that lives up to its name with its lofty, distinctive taste experience. And then the three bottles, like we said, are Eagle Rare, Double Eagle, Very Rare, and Eagle Rare 17. Um, the tasting notes. So it says the nose is complex, and when they say the nose, when you're sniffing it, um, with aromas of toffee, hints of orange peel, herbs, honey, leather, and oak. The only one we got in that is oak. Yes, I'm still a noob. Noob of bourbon. <laughs> would you I, call yourself the white belt of bourbon? <laughs> I would give myself about two stripes if we're doing the martial arts. Um, ranking systems I'll take um, one. yeah one, one stripe of white <laughs> I'm at least to the point where I can drink it straight not on yeah. ice anymore that's right 
I know what a Glencairn glass is. We're going drinkers. You <laughs> <laughs> know what it is? I just don't know how to pronounce it. Yeah. <laughs> so then on to the taste. The taste is bold, dry, and delicate with notes of candied almonds. Not just regular, but candied. With rich... Oh, and very rich cocoa. The finish is dry and lingering. So... I do have the little sugar flavor in there. Oh, no, that I'm hearing that. I don't, I don't know if I taste almond, but I, I get a little sugar. I don't taste almond. But again, like being new, it's really important to know that like we're not going to taste and smell all the things that you're supposed to. Like I think it's important to know that when you're drinking bourbon, it's okay to just like it because you mm -hmm. like it, not because it's fancy, not because it's supposed to have flavors that you like. Um, you don't have to be embarrassed to like a $20 bottle of bourbon or you could like an $80 bottle. It's just about like what actually tastes good. That's my plug for believing in your taste buds. So now I'm gonna bring up a little trace tasting notes, which I had. Oh, here we go, guys. Thanks for your <laughs> patience coming back. So the tasting notes for Buffalo Trace. I still have some of mine left. So it says this deep amber whiskey has a complex aroma of vanilla, mint, and molasses. That's funny. I've never gotten mint from this. Well, I drink all mine, so. <laughs> <laughs> Bottoms up. Well, sometimes when you read it out loud, that's when you when you taste it. Nope, no mint still. <laughs> maybe, maybe. Maybe. But I don't know if I'm tasting it because it's telling me to taste it or because I'm actually tasting it. Mm -hmm. I don't know. I would say it tastes and smells crisp. It does leave like that fresh gum. It does do that. Bite after. It does. If your gum tastes like bourbon. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> so it's pleasantly sweet to the taste with notes of brown sugar, which you said, and spice that give away to oak, toffee, dark fruit, and anise. This whiskey finishes long and smooth with serious depth. Also, I don't know if Anise is pronounced Anise, but it is A-N-I-S-E. That's nice. I refuse to drink or eat uh, black licorice anymore because oh I do not want it to ruin my bourbon experience. Yeah, black licorice I is not our favorite. No, it's not no. good. <laughs> it's not very good to us. Um, but yeah, any other notes? Mm. Any other comments? No, this has been fun. It has been really fun. So I hope you guys enjoyed it. Um, I don't know. This is just something we wanted to do because yep. we've been like really trying to expand our palettes of bourbon because we got a lot in Kentucky, a lot of bourbon in Kentucky. So we're trying to be able to like do blind taste tests and just enjoy ourselves and learn more. So I hope you enjoyed the experience. So cheers to our two viewers. Probably our mom and mom. And my mom. <laughs> Thank you for uh, watching 25 minutes of uh, the base of birthday. <laughs> I'll see you next time, guys. Bye.